My name is Liberty Pfeffer and I'm the graduate assistant for the UNLV GAP program. Today we will be discussing 10 tips for 8th graders wanting to go to college. So let's go ahead and get started. Tip number one is to verbally say out loud, I am going to college. If attending college or university is a goal of yours, then I encourage you to not only think about your goal, but to also speak about it and say it out loud to yourself. There is so much power in our words and research has even shown that by speaking your goals out loud, you become more intentional and motivated in achieving them. So let's say it one more time together. I am going to college. Tip number two is to strive for A's and B's. We all know how important it is to get good grades, but sometimes it can be difficult, especially when it's a subject that's a bit more challenging for us. Just know that even in those subjects that feel difficult, you are still so capable of getting the grades you want. Sometimes all we need is a little extra support by simply asking questions to your teachers or even by attending tutoring sessions after school. Just as a reminder, Gear Up offers free tutoring to all of our students on subjects like math. If that's something you're interested in, be sure to connect with your Gear Up coordinator to learn more. Tip number three is to become involved in leadership programs and extracurricular activities at your school. Joining programs like student government, theater, and even athletic teams show colleges that you're a well-rounded student. Even being involved in the UNLV Gear Up program shows colleges that you're a dedicated student through our various academic opportunities and activities that we provide. No matter what program or activity interests you the most, just know that you will learn and grow in so many ways. So be sure to get involved if you're not already. Tip number four is to begin to familiarize yourself with common college lingo. This includes words and phrases such as majors, bachelor's degree, undergraduate, financial aid, tuition, professor, degree plan, and full-time student status. That was a mouthful. <laughs> Creating a document with these words and phrases along with their definition can be extremely helpful when you're navigating the college world. This will also boost your confidence when discussing your college goals. Tip number five is to get curious about your passions and possible career paths you might be interested in. Once you have an idea of what you're interested in, take a moment to research what possible college courses and experiences will help assist you in achieving your career goals. Volunteering is a great way to know if this career path is something that you want to follow. Tip number six is to speak with your school counselor about various magnet schools as an option for high school. These schools are super cool because they offer specialized programs in subjects like aviation, performing in fine arts, culinary, law preparatory, medical sciences, engineering, and the list goes on. It can be extremely helpful to get some prior experience and education in your career interest to confirm that this is the path for you. Being able to get this opportunity in high school can save you a lot of time and money before you even step foot in college. How awesome is that? Speaking of money, tip number seven is to start saving for college now. Now I know it seems like college is so far away and you, have, you haven't even gotten to high school yet. I get it, but getting started on saving for college early is one of the best ways to save for college overall. Even if it's only a few dollars every so often, over time can add up and make a big difference. So if you're able to, I highly recommend 
you store some of your extra change and you save it for college. Tip number eight is to begin to develop basic technology literacy skills. Living in the digital age requires that most individuals know how to use software like Microsoft and Google. It's also important to know how to craft a professional email, create a PowerPoint presentation, as well as an Excel sheet. You can also practice your typing skills, which will make using your keyboard more comfortable and efficient. In addition to working on your technology skills, it's also a good idea to continue developing your reading skills. Tip number nine is to simply read more books. Reading even our favorite comic books and fiction novels can help prepare us early on for exams like the SAT, the ACT, and even other college exams that you'll most likely have to take at some point during your academic career. Independent reading not only helps us make better sense of the world around us, but it also helps expand our vocabulary and more effectively communicate our own ideas to others. Lastly, tip number 10 is to get excited about high school. As you graduate from middle school and transition into high school, reflect on your middle school experience and prepare yourself now for this next chapter in your academic journey. Spend some time thinking about some future goals you may have for high school and how they will positively contribute to your overall goal of getting into college. This might include things like taking AP or honor classes. Just know that no matter what your past academic experience was like for you, you have the opportunity to start fresh with high school and become intentional about working towards going to college. I know that that was a lot of information, but I hope these 10 tips were helpful for you as you navigate the end of your middle school career and prepare yourself for high school with the ultimate goal of attending college or university. Just remember that the entire Center for Academic Enrichment and Outreach at UNLV is here to support your educational goals. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to connect to your CAEO staff member at your school. Thank you and I hope you have a great rest of your day.